the Castor study, I think that is uh, an important study, phase three randomized trial conducted in relapsed and refractory myeloma patients uh, after at least one prior line of therapy for which the standard of care was for many years bortezomib and dexamethasone eight cycles. And in the castor, what we did was to add daratumumab, the CD30H monoclonal antibody, and to evaluate if the addition of daratumumab was going to add any benefit to this combination. And the answer is clearly yes. And the first results of the castor study were published in New England Journal of Medicine maybe two or three years ago and now we have updated this study. And uh, with longer follow-up, uh, we confirm uh, the significant benefit for DARA VD versus bortezomib and dexamethasone alone. And uh, the median progression free survival for DARA plus VD is uh, of approximately two years, significantly longer than uh, the median progression free survival reported for VD alone, that is uh, approximately seven months. This efficacy in PFS is important but also the benefit in terms of overall response rate and especially complete response rate because 30% of the patients achieved complete response. What is a complete response that we usually see in the Afro setting. And another important message coming from the Castor study is that when we evaluate the efficacy of DARA plus VD according to the prior lines of therapy, there is a specific population, patient receiving DARA plus VD at first relapse, this population are going to get the maximum benefit and the complete response rate is going to be 43% and the median progression free survival 26 months. So I think that we have to try to concentrate in this population and these patients at first relapse would be the ideal candidates to receive a daratumumab in combination with bortezomib and dexamethasone.